Hi you guys, welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny, I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker and today we're gonna to be unboxing month two with the Southern Skein subscription box. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Mine is trucking right along, so. <sighs> anyway, uh, once again, just, you know, in no way, shape or form am I affiliated with Southern Skeins. I am paying for this 100% out of pocket. Uh, I am doing the two DK weight skeins. So I'm doing the DK, the not your sock yarn with an add on skein. That way I can get a little bit further with anything that I want to choose. And I have options and what I want to do because I have more yarn to work with. Last month we got two skeins of this black cherry yarn and I did a shawl go figure because that seems to be the number one thing that I do. And I double checked this time. So after holding it up three times now, I am holding it up on the right, right side. You can see there, there, there is some pattern stitches where we've got some stockinette mixed in with the garter plus the eyelets. I have not blocked this yet. I was actually going to block this today, but I got the notification that this was going to be sent today. So got this. We also... We, my little organza bag, got a packet of Euclid, a pomegranate tea from Stash, a little Cherry Progress Keeper, some stitch markers, and I've got my two ball bands in here. So our total value last month was $63. We saved 29%. The total uh, cost for this box with the add-on skein is $45. Shipping is included in that. I had to double check. Um, sorry, I am once again very scatterbrained today. I, I'm, I did sleep well last night. I'm just still very scattered upstairs. Weeha! So, this month, the postcard that had our pattern on it, mine is smudged up and I cannot read it. So, I'm going to have to reach out to them and ask about the pattern and stuff because I cannot read the information that is on my card. Uh, it does not appear to have gotten smudged because of printing. It appears to have gotten wet at some point. My yarn is fine. My labels were fine. But the card was up at the top of the bag or something. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but yeah, my card is, is smudged up. So we got a little tapestry needle, a tea, a progress keeper, which he is very cute. Let's see if I can get him from the, look at those itty teeny little labos. Kind of how I feel most days. We got a button badge. And that is 100% most of my days. So definitely a carry approved sentiment on that badge. And then we got two skeins of blue blooms on the Southern DK base. So once again, uh, hilariously, we've gotten another subscription box with blue and purple. I am... 100% down with that. This is what we've got. And it's that rich burgundy type purple, not like a bright, bright, bright purple. Oof. I'm getting my hands stuck in the hank. But you can see we've got, it's not a, uh, you know, just a variegated, it's got nice tonal. We got some bright, bright blue in there. We've got the purple and then it's almost all the white is covered with like a peel wash of a uh, blue. Once again, perfectly, perfectly a carry color. <sighs> I did a horrible job hanging that up. It's okay. It, it's getting ready to go on the swift and be balled up anyway. But that is what we received. So this month, uh, their cost for the yarn is $40. 
The button badge is worth $2. The stitch marker, once again, is worth $5. I can't tell you about the pattern cost. So we're saying that this is $47 in value. So we basically just broke even on this box. That's fine. Um, I am, it does appear to say that I should have gotten some Euclid with this one. Um, but I didn't see that in the bag. That would have added a dollar. And obviously there's going to be like three to five dollars for the pattern as well. So there are some prices missing on this just because I can't read my card and I do appear to have a missing item this month. But other than that, I mean, once again, I'm, bas I'm basically breaking even with shipping and the cost of my yarn. Everything else is just kind of gravy on that. Uh, you know, 20 to $25 is really reasonable for 100 grams of sock, of uh, any yarn, not just sock yarn, but 100 grams of hand dyed yarn, like that's a pretty reasonable price. So I really can't complain at all about what I received this month. I love the color once again. You know, loved this, had fun working with this. And this is once again, that same squishy base and it's really in my colorway. So... <laughs> what else do you say when something just kind of works out perfectly for you? Um, this box, unlike some of the other ones we've done, is not particularly themed. It doesn't seem to be very uh, seasonal, um, seasonally appropriate. We have done some boxes where, you know, it was really obvious, you know, it was, it, the colors were very seasonally uh, appropriate, you know, fall colors, things like that. But, I mean, I'm, I work with anything at any time. So to have a box that isn't, it doesn't hurt my feelings. I just think it's, yeah, I'm a sucker for a theme. But I do really enjoy the yarn. This was such a dream to work up with. It's just so, I mean, you can see the air that's in the plies to the yarn. So it just leaves this like super uber squishy fabric when you're done knitting it. I did use size six needles for this. So it is extra, extra squashy. And it does show really good definition for like the yarn overs and stuff. So I can't say I am disappointed whatsoever. I am a very happy camper so far. This has been a lot of fun for me to work with. <sighs> Once again, like I said, I'm just, my brain is all over the place. I got 900 thoughts going through my head today. I'm, I'm surprised I remembered to put on shoes. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I mean, we are pretty dead on for what I expected with this box. I think this one will be, uh, if we had gotten the Euclid we were supposed to get and, uh, the pattern cost, I think we're going to be looking at about 15 to 20% discount overall for what we received. But like I said, you know, paying for the yarn and then getting extra little gifties really isn't something that bothers me. Now, I did do did not attach a value to like the tapestry needle and stuff just because those are, you know, adding 10 cent here, 15 cent there really isn't going to change the overall value of the subscription box. Um, but got all my all my stuff organized. I'm trying to keep things together so I don't lose things again. Uh, that's happened before where I've misplaced parts of my subscription boxes. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with what we've gotten so far. Um, we do have color diversity in what we have received so far. And I like the yarn. So we're paying for the yarn. We're getting some extras. I'm okay with that. It doesn't feel like they're trying to pad the box and make it seem more valuable like some of the boxes we've seen. And some of them, like, I mean, I'm embarrassed to say what the estimated value is with some of the extras that are included because you would never pay the retail price for some of these items. So 
I don't mind paying retail for yarn on occasion. So that's what I'm doing. I'm paying retail for yarn and getting extras with this box. And that's, that's a perfectly acceptable subscription box. Um, yeah. So if you have done the subscription box, let me know down below. What did you think? If you do the sock yarn subscription box, what do you think of that one? Um, I mean, I, I love Southern Skeins yarn collections. I love their color. So this is one where I, I was already familiar with the company and the styles and things to expect out of the subscription box. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about what I got, what you got, what are you making with yours. And I look forward to hearing back from you guys and seeing what you guys think. I love you guys and I will see you real soon. Bye.